to another lovely day in the Chelsea Harbour Rehabilitation Centre. We hope you slept well. We valued your patience for the past weeks and we're pleased to say that we are ready to begin your questioning. Please note, the following will be recorded for update purposes. Remember, Sabi loves to learn. All human interactions are used to improve the quality of service. Shall we begin? You have been brought here because of your involvement with the terrorist group Right Mind Rebellion. Please state your name and age. Ben Sibold, 16. Charlie McGrory, 14. Daniel Benton and I, 15. Thank you. Your identity has been verified. Why did you remove your chip? I removed it because I had to. Yes, it was painful, but the tunnel vision media provided to me was narrowing what I could see. Because I didn't want to be a part of that lifeless world out there where people follow rules and regulations because they're told to. A life without creativity where everyone's the same, there's no difference. I couldn't think with it in, at least not like a human should think. Well, how was I supposed to draw the world when I couldn't even see the world for what it really was? I couldn't live without my music. Music is my life. I knew the pain of taking this out <laughs> would be nothing in comparison to the pain of living my life by some chip without creativity or music. I could see my friends and family being part of this corporate drone population where no one could think for themselves. I've seen it happen to others, you know. They let the chip consume them until they're just a husk walking around in human skin. Literature, in its purest form, has no definition. It is what you want it to be. It can be inspiring, terrifying, hilarious, deeply dramatic. I remember when I was little, my father gave me his favourite book when he was a child, The Wind in the Willows. When reading this, I met these animals, understood their stories, and I was carried away from this dark world for just a moment, and it was beautiful. I needed that feeling throughout the rest of my life. You took that away when you planted that piece of disgusting metal inside my neck. How does music make you feel? Whether I'm listening to or playing music, I feel as though I'm myself. I can express myself and my feelings through music. Whether the music's modern or old, music speaks to spoke to everyone. Now the world's been deprived of joy and individuality. We've all just become one and the same. How does art make you feel? I remember when I was six years old. I sat out on the balcony, looking at the sunset. Uh, I watched as the yellows swirled into oranges and reds and fell off the end of the world. It, it's not concrete. It's, it's channeled through the heart, guided by emotions, set free by your, your childlike imagination. I'm sorry, I don't understand. An update is required. 
I'm sorry, I don't understand. An update is required. I'm sorry, I don't understand. An update is required. information. Update unsuccessful. Please redemonstrate. Insufficient information. Update unsuccessful. Please redemonstrate. To those that can hear me I say, do not despair. For the misery that is now upon us is but the passing of greed. The bitterness of men who fear the way of human progress. The hate of men will pass and dictators die. The power they took from the people will return to the people. And so long as men die, liberty will never perish. Don't give yourself to these unnatural people. Machine people with machine minds and machine hearts. You are not machines. You are not cattle. You are people. And let you, the people, have the power to make this life free and beautiful. To make it a wonderful adventure. Let us use that power. Let us all unite. I'm sorry. I don't understand. I'm sorry. I don't understand. I'm sorry. I don't understand. <laughs> 